Hi to all, welcome to this video tutorial on IXQ. Today we will see briefly the form finding tools we have and we will use the tool surface by four or three edges. As you can see I have already drawn a few lines to get my reference points out and now I will use the tool surface by four or three edges. This tool has a few options so we will start drawing here I am drawing a line but you can draw a line with this option you can draw an arc an herbs curve undo the last point end to end the input and close to close the line at the first point so I will just go out and input these four points like this and then use the keyboard C to close As you can see, a mesh, a surface has been created. And now comes in the form finding, the interactive form finding tool. As we click on this mesh, uh, this dialog box brings up, and we will explain now all the options of this input. First of all, we have here the interactive form finder, active or not. So if I deactivate it, the interactive form finder will not um, will not be enabled uh, activating it as you can see the tool has been relaxed into a tensor so let's go back and um, this option here is to activate or deactivate the pressure the internal pressure so if I activate it the surface gets inflated by an internal pressure the amount of internal pressure is this value here and so and this is controlled of course there is a balance between the internal pressure and the stress the membrane pretension the membrane pretension can be increased by these controls you see I have increased it by sliding this control the warp stress and with this other one we increase the weft stress so as soon as we increase the priestess in the membrane, the balance between the internal pressure and the priestess lets the surface go down, like that. Let's take off the, the pressure for the moment and let's give a look again at the priestess. So we have a membrane that has a warp and a weft direction. Increasing the stress in the warp direction, as you can see the membrane gets shrink, it gets smaller in the direction of the warp. And if we decrease the membrane process, the membrane gets larger on that direction. These two sliders, of course, are going from a minimum to a maximum value. These values can be found in here, in Tools, Settings, uh, Form Finder. The membrane process range goes from 0.01 to 10, and the cable process range from 0.01 to 2000. So, click again on this one and let's get back with this amount of stress in the membrane. So we have input an amount of pre-stress in the membrane. And there is a balance now between the stress in the membrane and the pre-stress of the edge cables. Clicking on one of the edges, these controls are get activated. The first one first that we want to see is the pretension of the cable. So increasing and decreasing the pretension in the cable, we see that the geometry changes again. So let's increase it like that. And the sag of the cable, of course, gets smaller as we increase the precess. And clicking again on this one, and it gets larger as soon as we decrease the pretension of the cable. So this is our eye part. Let's click again on an edge. We have seen that we can increase the tension, but we can also convert the edge to a beam element. A beam element means that the membrane is clamped on the geometry of the edge. So in this case, it's not a cable anymore. It's like a stiff element, a rigid element, and the membrane is connected. This, this element. 
In this case we have a simple line connecting the two endpoints, but we can convert the geometry to an arc like this. And once we have converted it to an arc, we see that we have here a contour point for the middle of the arc and we can move and change the curvature. Be aware that once it is an arc, uh, moving this midpoint here will keep always the point in the plane of the arc. So we cannot move outside the plane of this arc. If you want to do that, at zoom in, in the middle we will see this contour point. You keep and hold down the shift key. So I am keeping down now the shift key. And then you click on this contour point. So we have released it. We have released it basically the constraint to be in the plane. And now I can go and snap to this one here. So I have changed the geometry from uh, the arc, sorry, from the vertical plane to this plane here. Again, let me click on this edge and we can convert it to a Nurbs groove. That's it. So now it's it's a Nurbs groove. And we can, we can uh, of course, change these control points like that and move them somewhere. That's a bit strange. Let's move it down. Or you can just click on the edge and cover it back to a line. So we have seen these 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 controls here. These are for editing uh, the edges. So you click on an edge, and these controls are get activated. You can convert it back to a cable. We can increase the tension in the cable like this. Uh, we can convert it to a beam element and change the geometry. So if I select this one, I convert it to a beam and to an arch, to a beam and an arch, to a beam and an arch. Uh, sorry, to a beam. That's it. So we have made this kind of uh, of pencil. So we have seen these controls here. Another one that we need to understand is we have seen the pressure by activating the internal pressure the membrane gets inflated but the question is why does it go upwards it goes upwards uh, because the, this membrane has a positive side and the top one is the positive side and the negative side so the pressure always is applied on the negative side we have this uh, option here revert that we flip direction of the membrane and now this is the downside so the pressure is acting and pushing it down if we increase to one or even more to three we can see how the pressure is pushing downwards this membrane uh, let's deactivate again the, the internal pressure last thing to see now is uh, at the end of the points we have some contour points where we can move the geometry I can put it here so we can change the geometry of this uh, of this mesh like that. Okay, and move it and put it back. Like this. So we are free to edit edit this mesh in how many ways you want. Thanks for watching.